With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The question says if the line y is equal to 3x minus 15 intersects the line y is equal to mx plus 8 in the third quadrant, which of the following must be true? And there are four options given depending upon the nature of m. So let us solve this question by a simple method. It says y is equal to 3x minus 15 equates with y is equal to mx plus 8 at any point in the third quadrant. So let us equate y. So 3x minus 15 will become equal to mx plus 8. So 3x minus mx becomes equals to 15 plus 8 which is 23. You see this 3x minus mx becomes equals to 23. In the Now it is 3 minus m into x is equal to 23. Now we know that the line in these two lines intersect in the third quadrant. So x has to be positively negative. Now if x is negative, 3 minus m should also be negative because then only two, the multiplication of two negative numbers, of two negative things, negative numbers can be a positive number. So x is obviously less than 0. So 3 minus m will also be less than 0. Now we know that 3 minus m is less than 0. So 3 should be greater than m. Now x is less than 0 and 3 minus m is less than 0. The multiplication becomes positive. So m is greater than 3. We get from the inequality out here. When m is greater than 3, we know that m is positively po When m is greater than 3, m is obviously greater than 0. So m is positive. So the option which comes out to be the answer is A, which says that m is positive. Further, if there was an option which would say m is greater than 3, then we would have ticked that. But here, the, the nearest option is A, which, is, which says m is positive. So the option A becomes our answer. I hope it's clear. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.